going. Oh, it's still kind of cold, still kind of dark. Um, so <clears throat> there was this question and answer about this person. They're quite young, uh, just 18, and they've already been in the kink scene in an abusive relationship. And asking advice about re-entering the kink scene after having things go wrong and leaving. Now, many people will come in and out of the kink scene. Um, some may leave for a long time, some may leave for a short time, some people have a break. Um, some people just keep coming back again and again, the same thing happens. Uh, they get in, they get involved with people that are wrong for them, they leave, and they come back again. Uh, it's all a learning experience, it doesn't mean that when they leave it's all bad, life could have just caught up with them. Um, they've got things that they need to do, like, you know, kids, marriage, career, travel, whatever they need, whatever they want. But um, this is from a person who had a bad experience and they wanted to get back into it, but there's some things that have been triggering them. As with a lot of advice, I recommend people see like a professional counsellor or someone professional to help them through, that's kink aware. Um, you can find these people um, that are already kink aware or if you actually have a therapist that is open-minded um, and not judgmental about your lifestyle, you know, have a chat with them. I mean, my um, one person that I see, he's, uh, she's, she wasn't, she was aware of it theoretically because I study that stuff. But um, I had to explain a few things and you know about the relationship and how it is and all that sort of stuff and they're quite accepting um, about it and you know it helps that they know about it. Just being really vague about things doesn't help. Um, they get to see things from your perspective and the way you explain it and how you explain it. They don't have to know everything. What they have to do is have an open mind. Um, if you find a therapist that is open minded it's quite easy to talk about it with them. I recommend seeing um, someone professional if you're having issues and things are triggering because it will help you get through some stuff um, that you might need to get through. Um, that in conjunction with um, you know um, your, your partners or potential partners or you know full, fully disclosing um, you know triggers and stuff like that just as a part of negotiation something that I recommend because you don't want them to inadvertently do something that you know they might have just thought of and then it, you know have have uh, another bad experience to compile on all the other ones that you've had because that just won't do so yeah have you had a bad experience in kink you know how have you dealt with it um, who are the people you've gone to to have a chat with it um, you know was it just a misunderstanding at the time? Was it something that you didn't think to, you know, bring up at the time? Um, is it from something else or someone else previously in the past? Are you projecting those uh, possible traits or qualities onto someone that's completely innocent? You know, a lot of that happens as well. Someone's completely innocent, they think something's a good idea and they go, oh, well, it's all your fault because my ex used to do it to me. Like, it is very hard to differentiate in your brain that you know this is a different person because your brain automatically it's it's lazy it automatically goes to those neurons um, and those those pathways that say okay this is a bad this is what happened last time and these are the similarities they might be similar but they're not the same person um, you got to realize that so Monday oh, still cold very cold uh, what else? What else has been going on lately? Um, I don't know. Not a lot. <laughs> Trying to get things sorted. Life is very busy. Um, creating things. Getting a headspace to create things. Uh, try not to let our previous traumas sort of affect your, your current life. Um, not all that easy because as I said, your brain is lazy, it's going to automatically default to some of those old habits. So, sometimes you can avoid them and it sort of settles down. And you know, you go, you know what, that's not so bad anymore. And other times, it can just get worse. But, moving on and moving forward, um, trying to get into the positive rather than the negative, that's always a good thing.
and you will always be hit with you know negative stuff because that's just life life is like that auntie fate uncle murphy god you wish they weren't so close in the family sometimes anyway they bring good they bring good stuff too don't get me wrong they bring good stuff too we love them <laughs> they just can be inconvenient at times okay catch you guys later bye